Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of Let's Play Germany in Rule the Waves. So we'll just kind of push through as many turns as we can during this episode. Um, let's get this set up. I kind of like my things in this particular way. I am pretty happy though that this foreign stationed uh, heavy cruiser is going to be satisfying our tonnage requirements for multiple places because uh, for the tonnage requirements I need like this 2400, 3200, whatever. Even Northeast Asia, did I forget to send? I did forget to send this guy there. But still, we don't need to because the tonnage requirements are already satisfied by, thankfully, our light cruiser and our heavy cruiser. And that's just fine with me, so we'll keep pushing on. Good, we'll take the money. Although, yeah, time to actually stop some more construction, sadly. Well, I guess it's you next. We'll halt your construction, and that'll give us one more turn. Okay, good. So now we have a lot of our minesweepers are deployed. We'll just leave them in the northern Europe for now. And that is giving us enough to resume this guy. Those are going to make it so that we can probably resume one more. Yeah, let's get uh, 1.8. No, we'll do the cruisers first, I guess. The next ones we'll do are, I think, are the battleships, but... Okay, well. Fight against any opponent was, without a doubt, Italy. No, France. Wait, I'm very curious, actually. Oh, I can't check. Well, let's say France, I think, because I... Actually, I think France starts off pretty good, but they get worse as the game goes on, whereas... It, well, that same thing would probably happen with Italy, though. Italy has poor education, so let's say France. It doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really change that much, but what I'm curious about is, where is France's home water? Ah, they are in Northern Europe, so it would be really nice to go to war with France, because all my ships will be in Northern Europe just waiting. We'll probably have one huge engagement, and then whatever. Uh, hopefully, if that goes really well, we'll be able to spread our battleships around and maybe invade some French colonies. No point in not trying to invade colonies in places where we already have colonies, because we already have to defend those places. We will always choose to raise tensions when we can. Okay, good. So we're up to enough to get a battleship now. Let's get one of our... I didn't think about this series very carefully. I have absolutely terrible pronunciation of German names, so... If you guys just forgive me, then we'll push on. Uh, Zaringen? <laughs> Zaringen? I don't know. Schwaben? That makes a little more sense to me. Okay, our first armor advancement. And I think that's enough monthly budget that we can try to get this other one, the Schwaben, started. Yeah, that's uh, not so bad. Okay, let's, uh, of course, we would love to go to war with Japan. The only disadvantage being, of course, they get a surprise attack. The weight savings are start, starting to pour in. And probably, uh, I would say, another turn or two, another couple months, and we will actually... Ooh, Great Britain. I think what we'll do is help Great Britain root the rebels out. It'll lower tension with them. I don't want to go to war with Great Britain. Not right away. We need time to build up our... Because of the historical budget, it's made things a little bit more difficult for us. You see that they have... Uh, over double our budget. Okay, that's going to be useful. In fact, I probably should invest in my dock size immediately. The Russians are building silly little light cruisers. Whoa, 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 actually, I should have taken a look at that a little bit more carefully. I didn't uh, look at it very carefully. I should have. Because it would have been interesting to see what that belt armor is. Oh, yes, we'll continue to raise tensions. Okay, destroyers of 600 tons, that's good. Actually, I'm going to do something. I'm going to lower the torpedo warfare and light forces down to just medium. The reason for doing this is I think this is slightly less important than torpedo technology itself. I'm not sure if that's a good decision or not. I've just decided. And so there we go. What? We're not doing anything. Silly German people. Don't you want your nation to be the mightiest 
navy in the in the world? No, guess not. Well, let's see. Okay, well we can get 12 inch guns this way. I guess we'll have to do it. Quality one, negative one is just terrible, but uh, it's one less thing our research has. I don't know how research goes, but in my head it works this way. Naval guns moves forward and then it triggers an event, uh, a research event if you have enough points. I'm guessing that the actual event research is also a second trigger. Not that you are working specifically towards one. Um, and if that's the case, then having some already researched helps us research better ones faster. Not sure if that made sense, but... Okay, some more ships being commissioned. Let's look at the Almanac just to... I really do want to see how things are going. Wow, Great Britain has an amazing budget. Despite the fact that our tensions with them went down, their budget has increased. Wasn't it just at 220? And now it's up to 260. But at least we're comparable to France. So if we go to war with France, and certainly if we go to war with Italy, we'll be in good shape. I would welcome a chance to go to war with France, because it would give us a chance to test out our battleships against their heavy cruisers. And they don't have any light cruisers. That's insane. That's, that's really quite astonishing. All right, we will always send battleships. We will protect our interests. This will increase budget and prestige. Good, our first prestige. And France is, well, we're really close, so at this point, I think it's definitely time. I probably should have done this a, few, a little while ago. Let's get gunnery and night fighting. We'll switch to torpedo warfare as soon as torpedo technology advances a little further. But for now, that's fine. Now let's get two more of these ships resumed. Siri. Okay, more light cruisers being built. We're getting more ships. Uh, not a whole lot of messages, huh? Okay, better savings, better hull, damage control, turret and gun mountings, very good. Rate of fire, always good. Submarines, despite the Germans heavy use of them in World War II. I don't think we'll be attempting to use them quite as much in this playthrough. Okay, quality zero, five inch guns. Probably the worst gun we could have researched. Maybe only uh, worse than that would be seven inch guns, which I don't find very useful at all. Okay, well, we'll take this offer. 10% discount is still something worth considering. And we'll name it whatever you want. Ah, yes, it is most likely or without a doubt, it is, well, we could go to war. Let's actually send tension up with Japan, because I think that'll keep us under the war limit, but we don't mind going to war with Japan either. However, if we had a problem, I mean, if we went to war with Japan, they'd probably sink our lone light cruiser that's out there. Our heavy cruiser is moving around. Currently, it's decided to position itself in Southeast Asia. Fair enough. I'm not going to do this because I don't think Japan has enough research points to make it worthwhile. The two nations I would really consider doing it with are Great Britain and the United States. I don't think Japan is going to... Well, I'll do it. Let's just see if it ends up being useful for us at all. Good. Increased funding. That's excellent. Uh, we, of course, always want... Wow, that might take us to war, though. I mean, it likely will. We can't really handle the prestige decrease, though. So I don't see any reason to double increase our tension. If the budget... Presumably the budget would go up by more if we choose the first option. But I'm going to choose the second one. And good, we didn't... What? Why, huh. Why do we have such high unrest? I'm missing something for sure here. I, I'm not doing something correct. Uh, it must be this foreign tonnage thing. Let's just do that. Let's, let's be very a little more careful about this. Let's actually send ships to all the places that we need them. So let's send one over to West Africa. Let's send one over to the Indian Ocean, I think. Well, I'm going to put one in the Southeast Asia. 
Because we have an unrest level of 8, and I don't know why that is. Uh, they're not telling me exactly what the reason why they want a lower expenditure. So that's um, it's really hard to... See, we're helping their ship design. That's what I feared. But they probably won't help us too much. This unrest level is huge. Let me know, game. Can you please tell me a little more specifically why is my unrest level going so high? Is it because my quote-unquote genius tactic? Is it not actually a good tactic? I'm not sure. So we'll turn this guy... Okay, he's already good. I, the problem is I think I need to increase my base in um, the Indian Ocean because it doesn't support anything. So let's improve this base. And we are building new docks, so we're spending a lot of our money on that. But after all that, we can go ahead and continue building. Let's get this one going. Okay, next turn. I think that this reeks of corruption. I'll take the prestige. See, we're helping them with AP projectiles. What have they helped us with? Nothing so far. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Well, this would put us at war with France. Okay, well, our first war, huh? We're not at war? No, we must be. In fact, we are not. Very interesting. I wish I could get back to the people somehow. I don't know how I can do that, though, unfortunately. Well, let's start spreading some of our minesweepers out, because I always like to have two minesweepers in every other location. So let's just go ahead and start moving these guys. Well, I'm going to want two in Northeast Asia. Um, I'm going to want two in Southeast Asia. And I might as well just put two everywhere, right? So two in Indian Ocean. And two in West Africa. Great. Now, I actually want to take the time to build more minesweepers because they're very good at the anti-submarine war, um, warfare and coastal patrols. And they're so cheap, it's just worth it for us to get a whole bunch. So this, I think, actually will be 250. So I get five. Yeah, oh, well, it was more than that, but I don't know how this monthly balance works then. Something not right about the numbers. It says here that the monthly build cost will be something, right? But you end up doing that and it ends up being double. So <clears throat> just good for us to at least know that that's the case. And tensions with France actually dropped. Okay, well, interesting. Ah, okay, well that uh, changes everything. If they want to fight, we're ready for it. I do not want to lose to prestige. Yep, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Great, fleet battle. <laughs> um, we're 13 minutes in. This is going to be a big one. They don't have any light cruisers, though, so I'm pretty confident about this. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, they declined the battle. Ah, well, okay. A coastal raid. Um, again, this is supposedly with our superior forces, but I don't like coastal raids. Oh, we'll accept it anyway. Okay, fine. Just getting some free victory points, I guess. So again, we're going to have this problem where the Indian Ocean supposedly has more people than we can support. Oh, well, actually, that makes sense because currently we have our heavy cruiser there. Yes, that does make sense. So let's turn a few ships to raiding as well. Um, we can't do raiding in Southeast Asia quite yet because we don't have... We need a backup light cruiser there. Mm, yes, interesting. So we have... Some of these guys are working up. I'm going to send this guy over raiding to Southeast Asia. That'll be useful just because um, they have a lot of provinces over there. A lot of colonies. One, two, three, four. And these are decent sized ones to begin with. So we should probably do the same here. How, what are their holdings here? Value two. That's pretty small. Value two. Okay, so they don't have much in, in here. We could send one over. Do they have anything? Antilles is not really worth it either. Hmm. Okay, well. Djibouti. 
and two. Yeah, I guess all their holdings are basically Mediterranean, Northern Europe, and Southeast Asia. Okay, so the other one we can get actually to send to the Mediterranean. Let's do that. Yeah, you are gonna raid in the Mediterranean. So our new crew tactics haven't gone into effect quite yet, but we shouldn't be too far behind. Now, with the new budget, yeah, we can get all our ships building. Okay, well, um, we're off to a very good start, just they keep declining all of our, our battles. If they keep doing that, they're just going to give us a free victory. Let's get all these guys, all but two, which will be ten to anti-submarine warfare. More than we need, but it increases our efficiency, so that's good. Okay, let's see. French sank two, Indian Ocean, and we have a coastal raid. Well, let's go ahead and accept this. By the way, it looks like our unrest is going down ever since we put um, people onto the foreign station, so I think that might have been it. A cruiser action. We should accept this because they don't have any cruisers. Yeah, they have to climb battle. This is the same situation. We should accept because they don't have... What? Okay, well, that's fine. Our lone cruiser, what is this possible? It's possible we can be up against their destroyers, which would be fantastic. Let's get all of our stuff open. We don't need dis divisions. Good thing to note is, I think... Oh no, we don't have any support forces. I mean, we can go to uh, Hegelin and get these installations to work for us. Let's see, what are they? Um, how do I view your size though ah uh, here we go six inch so this one's a six inch which ones am i selecting here i want to make sure yeah this is one of them so i have a six inch i can get help with here and this is another six inch so i can get help from two six inch batteries and this is a four inch one we don't know where that is though Anyway, I can head over here if I need help. But for now, let's just get going until we see where the enemy is. Nowhere, apparently. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, okay. Um, what's my objectives? None. This is a cruiser action. What's my sight? I have decent vision. I'm not even gonna worry about torpedoes. Why did it give me sight if I don't have the ability to see the enemy? This is strange. Hmm. Well, let's go to squad max. I, I don't know what I'm getting ready for, but Fighting France, where's the nearest French port? Down here, so why don't we head south? This is so strange to me, like what, what happened? A cruiser warfare, but there's no cruiser? Is that what happened? Well, let's go down and protect our holdings, just, just in case. No, there's not even any coastal ships. No contact between the Sario's over. It's very strange. Yeah, they did have three destroyers, but it didn't put us into contact with each other. That's fine. That's fine. So that was a draw. I didn't have the window centered anyways. I apologize for that. I'll make sure to do that for combat. I'll put a little sticky note on my monitor. <laughs> Adjust that for combat. Anyway, it looks like that we have them blockaded. Is that the truth? Yeah, we're gaining 170 victory points for blockading the enemy. We can see that our... Total points is 52 to their 36. Now, Great Britain would blockade us if it was us at war with them, so we're thankful that we aren't. Okay, well, um, let's see how many are our raiders doing. We don't have any ships with stars. That's good. We're just in really good shape, I would say. Okay. Convoy defense. We'll accept this. Okay. So this will probably be, hopefully, the last fight we have to do. What is this, two light cruisers? No, a light cruiser and a destroyer. 
Fair enough. Okay, let's uh, move forward until... Looks like this is actually a little bit too big, huh? That's better. Okay, so let's keep moving forward until we get... Well, we don't need torpedoes. And we don't need division names. We need to get control, so until these things become ungrade, we can't do anything anyway. So I'll just keep running until this stuff becomes ungrade. Which will happen either if we spot an enemy or if the convoy spots an enemy, although it won't alert us of that. Still gray, still gray, still gray. There it is. So let's hit pause. That means that they are close enough to the enemy, so we can, we're can we given control. Now our destroyers are just crap, right? I think if I remember correctly, they just have two 3-inch guns and these three torpedoes, which are pretty miserable. I need to be a little careful about launching torpedoes too, because I am going to be moving into convoy defense. So this is called France. It's a very strange name. Why are these things called France? Huh. Very strange to me. Anyway, well, at least we know where they're over here. So they're exactly here. Good. Yep, full speed ahead, squad max. Let's go. We'll even get our destroyer to go squad max, even if he outruns my light cruiser. Because it's just more important to get over there and distract them from killing all of my merchant ships in time. And since I don't think they have any light cruisers, uh, our light cruisers should be able to just demolish theirs. Okay, good. Oh, there's the unidentified ship, so we'll move down. And begin engaging what I am sure is not a battleship. That doesn't make sense. It can't be. Can it? Could it? Is it? Oh, it's a heavy cruiser. We're in trouble. <laughs> okay, let's see. What can I do about this? Nothing. It's got seven six-inch guns per side. This is a practically a battleship. We just might have to give this one up. The only thing we're going to risk if we try to charge in is losing our light cruiser, which I would really prefer not to do. Hmm. Okay, well how fast is it? Can we at least get away? Yeah, 21 knots, so we're able to elude it. Hmm. Three inch guns are just going to do nothing, so I guess what we'll do is go in with the destroyer anyways. Uh, so hard. Oh, we're not close enough to engage. Okay, now we should be. Okay, now I hope you're engaging. You go ahead and engage as well. I think we'll just torpedo run. So we'll set... I know our torpedoes are really pathetic, but if that's all you have, then you gotta make use of what you have. Turret's jamming. That's probably not the best time for that to happen. Okay, well don't fire torpedoes for the second because you'll hit our ships. Yeah. This is going to be a really... Okay, you know what? Forget it. I don't care if we hit our own ships. <laughs> fire your darn torpedoes. They already sank one of our merchant ships. No surprise, really. Really, uh, really, really, really fire your torpedoes. Okay, alright, we're launching torpedoes. <laughs> They're so slow. They're so bad. Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> Went right through their ship. Uh, well, that was really close, you know? That was, that was really, really close. Let's just try to stay on the wind side of this heavy cruiser, because... Yeah, we, we, I mean... <laughs> we don't stand much of a chance anyway. Okay, this is really it. This is your last chance to get a torpedo off. Yeah, we're hitting with 3-inch three, uh, three weapons. I don't think that's going to do much against 5.5-inch um, armor. That is really good armor. My goodness. Really, really, really good armor. Okay, so they're firing at our light cruiser with their main 8-inch guns, which is not good. Let's just go for broke, though. Maybe we can get a torpedo hit off, you know? 
We're just gonna keep trying. Okay, I'm gonna spin this one away. The destroyer's obviously taking a lot of hits. So what we'll do is just get her to go home. She's taking a lot of damage. We're gonna have to give up the ghost now. If they chase us, that's even better. Um, basically, I the difference between 90% damage and 100% damage is the 90% damage will still be ready in another two weeks. We don't have the ability to do smoke, but that's fine. I'll just get you to run away as fast as possible. And continue to move out with the Amazon, Amazoni, Amazon, whatever her name is. So th this is what I mean though. I, I'm okay with taking the amount of damage we did, which is, you know, not insignificant. If we stick around a little bit longer, sure, we might actually launch one of our other torpedoes, but at the same time, we might end up just losing the destroyer completely. So a little bit of um, risk mitigation here. We should be outrunning her slowly. And she should only be firing one of her ten, uh, eight inch guns at us. Um, we're overheating due to the higher evolutions. That's really not good. We'll have to split up a little bit just to make um, the heavy cruiser make a decision about which one she's following. Yeah, good. I actually want to head north with the light cruiser and east with the destroyer because I want the destroyer to detach as soon as we can. And when, so right when she's going to go into AI mode, I want her to, deta to detach, which will send her home. And the good news is we have nighttime approaching. That's fantastic. So hopefully, okay. So don't do that. Don't come back. Detach. Yes. Good. Go home. Go, no, go home. Can I shift click you there? Go home. Good. You're going home. All right, so we'll actually, huh, why is she not going home? All right, well, fine. Um, we'll just head max speed home ourselves, and we'll just go into port. I don't know why. What is going on? Okay, yeah, she's, this destroyer is very stubborn. She won't give up her mission. So we'll just head to port. And that should conclude this episode, too. So we'll just go to max speed. Pretty boring fight, honestly. Um, but I... We did save a lot of merchant ships. If we had just let the heavy cruiser go, they would have lost, you know, I'm sure they would have lost all the merchant ships. <laughs> Not a single one would have survived. Oh, well, looks like I didn't end up saving the merchant ships forever anyway. Oh well, well, there's nothing more we could have done. It was a suicidal engagement. So, too bad, so sad. If any of the merchant ships survive, it's just a bonus. Um, we want to go into port. Can you ask us to go into port? Okay, good. All right, so they sank three. We got a bonus. <laughs> so this is this is great. We got a thousand dollar, a thousand point bonus for surviving enemies. Um, did we get any damage cost to them? No. The only thing that we did is take a little bit of light damage ourselves. That's still fine. So overall, uh, we lost a bit here, but probably not so bad. It probably wasn't so bad. We lost about 260 victory points. That's still not too bad in the grand scheme of things. We're okay. So we'll continue this war with France in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, and take care.